what's happening boys and girls Alder by 77 here just with a few tips and pointers how to uh, get the medic medal uh, now I do need a five kill streak and uh, there was a couple of other things I had to do but anyway let's get started and get in this game and show you how it's done so uh, what you'll notice is I do a lot of spamming I uh, press R1 a lot I press it everywhere because you can actually spot the enemies without seeing them the reason I use a grenade launcher there is uh, just hoping to get damage on some enemies find out where they are exactly now I am spamming continuously here now, I am a medic so I do um, need to resupply from time to time which proves a bit of a struggle because uh, a lot of people are just doing their own thing so I can't really get them to, to resupply and a good example of that is here um, so I need some ammo I'm clearly asking the guy I need ammo and he just walked right by so uh, yeah anyway on with this five kill streak so I know for a fact that uh, there's part of this map where I tend to find a lot of um, the opposing team really satisfying running through that gate as well um, it's just down there so what I do is I, I try to flank them well I actually do uh, go right round the map another gate to run through ah, love it. I don't know what just happened there but one of my guys got blown up so yeah this is kind of the area that I'm gonna not so much camp but it is a kind of a form of camping where you just like go back and forth between a certain part of the level so you cover your back. Now I tend to move around quite quickly. I do need my sensitivity up on my turn. But um, yeah, there's your first kill. Uh, just miss out on that one. But I did manage to get away from uh, being killed. So I'm one off my five kill streak. Put some health down. One of the benefits of being the medic. Just covering my back. Now I know there's guys, I never rely on them really, um, team is in the because if you think you've got one of your guys behind you, uh, covering them and you end up getting killed. Now on purpose there I started backing up as I was firing because I seen his friend and he was going to take me out. Take so I thought, well there was one of my comrades, he can uh, help me. And again back to my little hidey hole, using my health. And again just going back to my, oh, my camping. Now there is someone up there. I just want to keep safe because don't forget I'm on uh, three kills now so I just need another two just missed out on that one did manage to tag his body with R1 because I bash R1 a lot again as you can see it seems a bit repetitive I actually had my friend here with me and he was like what are you doing why am I not going killing someone and then he kind of figured it out I was going for the five kill streak for the in-game medal our side is in the lead. But yeah, just covering all angles here. Constantly pressing R1. And again, it seems a bit repetitive by desperate need that five kill streak. I've been trying it for a few days. Uh, another guy is a bit too far away. I've already let off a few bullets, so get into cover. Grenade. <laughs> really didn't want to die on three kills over the barbed wire. That hurt and hide but the health was too far away from me you have to actually be stood on it but if you look at my health I was on two now it slowly builds up and I'm still keeping me out, my eye out for potential candidates for my kill streak so I go around the outside I'm getting a bit restless now starting to think well I need some kills I also don't want to go rushing right into it. The windmill is usually a good place uh, for guys. And if I wasn't going for this five kill streak, I would just be going uh, headstrong around that windmill. Which I do end up doing at the end of this game. Once I hit my five kill streak, I gave it away. <laughs> I do do it. So again, as you can see, I'm just looking constantly, constantly uh, spamming R1. There's another guy I just missed out on. Now, as soon as I start firing, I know I'm I'm, I'm breaking my cover, and the guys, uh, someone will see me, they'll tag me, they'll try and 
flank me, so I've got you've got to constantly keep on the move. So if I do stop, it's just to have a look around and uh, spam R1, try and highlight the enemy. I do it more in the darker areas, like in barns, windows, I'll just spam a bit more, because it does take a few seconds sometimes to highlight the enemy. I was definitely getting a bit bored here. Halfway there, we need to push getting a bit restless. Needing to hear that little bell on kills. So I've seen a bit of action there. Something else happening over there. I do remember, I think there is. There's a guy behind me. No, it was on a different. But yeah, as you can see, it's quite repetitive, but I am literally heart in my mouth trying to get this five kill streak. Because as you guys know, when you're trying to get a kill streak, you, you can be on the last kill you need. And, and then um, if you lose it, it's, it's soul destroying. The amount I've shouted at the screen at this game is unbelievable. So I was getting a bit braver there, looking for a bit of action in, at the windmill, and then I think, no, I better run back to where I can cover, get behind walls and hide behind corners as I'm running. But as far as it goes, I still need another two kills. One more kill. Now my heart's racing. I think there's going to be someone around here. I can hear him. There's no one there. Just keep scanning everywhere. An enemy That's my guy. Didn't know what he was doing, but then there was the enemy. And boom! There we have it. Medic Order of Valor. Got it. So now, um, obviously because I've hit it, quite happy. A bit more relaxed. Start thinking, right, let's get stuck into the battle. Um, just let me literally just sit there. That's first aid point. do it. That's actually my first in-game medal. Not trophy medal, because medals are separate. So just thought go to where all the action is. You see, it's really good for getting to people and running away from gunfire and bayonet, but it really, really does sap your uh, stamina. You end up in like a slow mo for a while. I just thought I'd have a laugh there and start battering him if he's there, but he wasn't there. Took out my frustration on some boxes in the wall. <laughs> oh, I thought he was long gone, but uh, he wasn't. He was there. <laughs> I like this, how he falls out the window. See ya. And I got his dog tags, which he won't be happy about. So dog tags are when you get a melee from behind on specific players if they have them active. Um, it's hit and miss as well. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. You do have to rank up to that level to equip it. And it does say that you know you can't use it until you do. Um, but you get some bad medals yourself, to be honest. You just pop up if you get a good one off someone. There's another guy there. No, I was Run out of ammo. Sack it, bash him over the head. Get in the windmill. Someone else. Oh, just missed me head. He really needed a lot of hits. And then it was actually eight kills juice and the heavy gunner took me out. So um I think that's it really. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna check out and uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Please be sure to subscribe, leave your likes. Um, peace out, any contributions, donations, please forward them to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you very much.